Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 19th to the 25th of April 2021. So I hope you well. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy for the week. This is the Angel Answer card deck. So what do we have for Gemini please, Angel Spirits Guides? Message for the week please. What does Gemini need to hear the most? Oh, nice. We've got trust. Now, this can be trust you're being watched over, trust your instinct in a situation, or somebody that you can trust. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards, and then we clarify, go deeper into the message, and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you, Gemini. So message for Gemini, please, Angel Spirits Guides, 19th to the 25th of April, 2021. Thank you. 19th to the 25th of April, 2021. Thank you. We have the King of Pentacles in the challenge position. The Star card of Aquarius, King of Pentacles is Taurus, Gemini for me as a reader. The sun. <laughs> Very nice energy. Okay. Let's clarify. I go deeper into the message for Gemini. Thank you. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Gemini 19th to the 25th of April 2021 please angels spirits guides so I'm using the Rider Waite classic and this is the Radiant Wise Spirit Gemini finishing off with Karen Kay's Oracle of the Fairies okay what do we have for Gemini thank you message for Gemini so we have the chariot strength with the star and we have the lovers oh wow <laughs> my goodness ten of cups wow gemini i mean the, the lovers is your card as well which is very nice so cards on the table signs that may be relevant to you i have taurus aquarius leo cancer gemini okay Hmm. I'm feeling somebody has trust issues here with somebody. I've got a feeling you've got trust issues here, Gemini. You know, uh, somebody is offering you something and it feels in terms of love, romance, relationship. And I'm feeling it's very much about taking a, a relationship to the next level. So it could be in terms of moving in together, getting married, um, greater commitment, that kind of energy. But you don't know whether you want to go for it or not because there are trust issues. However, you know, the pentacles energy is generally, they mean what they say, I have to say, you know. Um, there's definitely an energy if they mean what they say here. Yeah, I mean, I've got the Seven of Pentacles, which is a card of taking stock, evaluating. And it's somebody who you spent a, a significant amount of time with already. It feels it's an established relationship and you're just taking stock of whether it's for you. I'm getting this energy of trust issues. Let's clarify this chariot. Yeah, lack of clarity on how you want to move forward. Pisces, by the way, that one. However... You are being told when you face your fears, when you realize what your fears are and rise to them and face them head on, that's when you can overcome them because the path that you are on is a blessed one. And it is definitely an energy of there's real hope, faith. I mean, this is about having faith, renewal, finding your purpose. 
So it, it definitely feels in this energy. It feels this is somebody that you can trust, but there are trust issues with this Gemini. You know, the, the star is also a clarifying energy. Things becoming very clear. Um, you're on the right path. You're going in the right direction. And this, this strength energy is about having the resoluteness to overcome any fear or doubt. Some of you could be overthinking. You know, there's a feeling of overthinking something with these cards here between them two. You know, um, you know, I, I take the combination of the cards as well as the individual meanings. So it, it, it definitely feels in this energy. Some of you are overthinking something way too much. And it's almost kind of like you're making your fears worse. You know, I love the energy of the moon because the moon is a card of hidden blessings. You don't see the full picture, but the universe does. And again, with this star card, which is divine wish fulfillment, divine blessings being poured on you at this time, where you see somebody walking on water and you're being told to believe in miracles, it definitely feels for some of you that this there's real hope. This is about daring to dream or following your dreams now or having the strength and courage to follow that dream. Because this is ultimately the Ten of Cups, you know, Mars in Pisces, you know, making those dreams real in one sense, you know, because, you know, the Piscean energy is all, it can all be about being dreamy, you know, and that Mars is all about the action, the power, the, you know, the initiative to, to make it happen, to be productive, to make it happen. So I'm definitely getting this energy of, you know, it feels in this situation everything's going to become clear. Where there wasn't clarity, this is about, you're going to overcome whatever block that you get here. It feels like this mental block. It feels like there's panic followed by this clarity that's coming to you. In terms of making this decision or choice, in terms of love, romance, relationships, this can also be you connecting to your higher self, getting the clarity that you need on how you achieve this Ten of Cups, which is the Rainbow of Blessings. I love this energy, Gemini. It just feels like this is a powerful union. Absolutely beautiful energy. This is two people who have worked hard to achieve that Rainbow of Blessings, but they're also being blessed by the universe as well. You know, there's definitely an energy of, you know, they take to provide for their family, to get the home, but also as they mirror each other in that card, there is the, the energy of this perfect match energy coming your way. And it feels to do with some kind of long-term commitment, marriage, um, move, it could be moving in together, marriage, setting up home, starting a family. I mean, call it what you will, whatever this decision is for you, if you're somebody wants greater commitment, they want to take it to the next level. You have trust issues, but you are absolutely being told, trust. This path that you are on is the right path. Yeah, and this the sun energy is a card of good news, celebration, happiness, joy. So yeah, in this energy, it just feels very, very beautiful indeed. So I'm going to pull you a final, final card. Yeah, I like the go outside card because it's a card of getting perspective. You know, when we connect to nature, we have that kind of wonderful healing, positive energy that comes from connecting to the outside. So we have go outside. It's time to go outside. Tune into the powerful piece of nature, whatever, wherever you are, and feel at one with your habitat. Again, this can just be about you reconnecting to you, understanding how you want to move forward, you know, how you want to take direction. You know, I, I love this energy. So I hope, I mean, it feels very beautiful to me, Gemini. It just feels like some of you are a little bit in your own head. But as soon as you get that clarity, there's such a wonderful, warm, vibrant, happy, joyful energy coming through. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.